Ready for your Easter Sunday dinner, or Easter Saturday night dinner, Easter Sunday night, uh, Easter weekend dinner. Right. Chef Curtis Stone was in our uh, Win Dixie kitchen with Mark Payton to show you a great way to make a ham. It's now time to dish in the Win Dixie kitchen, and today it's all about that Easter feast. I'd like to welcome back Curtis Stone. Curtis, right, welcome right. back. Nice to see you. Now, we did a Another Easter feast, and this is, I guess, part B, if you will, because you have a feast of a feast. You have a lot to talk about. You know, about. there's so many ways to cook. Well, you cook on Good Friday, you cook on Easter Saturday, even Easter Sunday. So today I'm concentrating on the ham. Which is a classic, but it you have is. a little bit of a twist in there, right? Yeah, we do. So I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious glaze. It's bourbon and brown sugar, which, Love come it. on. I mean, yeah. it's, it, you're, you're winning already. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to get that perfect glaze on the outside and still beautiful succulent ham on the inside. That sounds amazing. So let's start with the glaze. So you get a little bit of butter, about half a stick of butter, and then you add a little bit of that beautiful bourbon, some brown sugar, some Worcestershire sauce, and some honey. Okay, so... Well, that's a good amount of honey. That's more than I thought. Yeah, no, it's a nice sweet... Well, you want a glaze to be relatively sticky, so a good amount of honey. Maple also works really well, maple syrup also. And so yeah. this is apple cider vinegar, which again brings you... What you're looking for in a good glaze is a little bit sharp, a little bit um, sour. You I know, like that, a little, little, sour. little sweet too. So we're going to give that a mix. You want to bring it up to the boil, and you'll see it comes to a pretty nice, thick consistency yeah. And with that fast. heat, everything's unlocking. You smell the aroma. Oh, yeah. Really doesn't, good. Doesn't yeah. smell fantastic. So here's our ham. You can go down to Winn-Dixie and get these beautiful big smoked hams on the bone. That, that's the way to do it. And if I'm going to lift it up, you'll see underneath I'll put some onions, some carrots, and some celery. All right? So that's just to sort of permeate a little of that flavor as it bakes. Now the important part is scoring it. So get yourself a relatively sharp knife and just sort of cut diamonds, I call them. Cut across it in one direction and then go back in the other. And of course, make sure. And you can cut this as thick, big or small diamonds as you like. And what it's is actually, that doing to it? Well, what's going to happen, it's going to help that fat to open up and render down during the cooking process. And it's going to give your fat, because um, you want a bit of a fat cap sure. on, on a ham, it's going to give that um, the opportunity to sort of give the uh, glaze something to, to hold on to, so okay. to speak. So you give it a good old, good old score. And then what you do is you cover it in foil and you pop it in the oven at 300, 350 degrees, 325, for an hour and a half, all right? Oh, wow. Don't touch it, just pop it in, no glaze. Low heat, low good heat, amount of time. Low heat, good amount of time. Because truthfully, you can see that ham's already done, um, already cooked. What we're really doing is warming it up slowly. So it's going to come out looking like this. Nice. I like right. the coloring already. So you see a little bit of color, so you've penetrated a lot with the heat, and now it's time to sort of get that glaze going. So let your glaze cool down so it sticks to the ham a little bit more. Sort of slurp that on so you see this beautiful glaze just going all over your ham. Yeah. And you're going to crank the heat up to so about 400 degrees. Look how it glistens in the lighting over here. It looks it's delicious. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And then, and then you're going to put it back in the oven uncovered this time for about 10 minutes. Uh, intervals of 10 minutes for 30 minutes total. Okay. So it's had an hour and a half under the foil, and then we give it back to the nice hot oven this time, nice and every 10 oven. minutes we pull it out. So I cheated, of course, and I put one in. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Wait till you see this. Wow. It is just so gorgeous. Oh! <laughs> right? Doesn't that look unbelievable? That is amazing. And it smells delicious, it too. It smells fantastic, and it's just going to taste so, so delicious. Well, I say we plate this up. Let me plate it up. To make a, a quick sauce, you take some pan drippings, you throw that into a hot pan, you throw some butter on in there, and about half a cup of the remaining glaze. Oh, I love it. Right? So that becomes your sauce. Throw in some thyme leaves for good measure. Yeah. And that is it. And then, of course, it's just time to go ahead and carve this little baby. So. I'm going to carve it down this way. Have a look at this beautiful ham. Wow. Look at that. And then over here, you got vegetables over here. Right, we've done a little succotash to serve with it. So corn, great this time of year as well with some red onions. Wind Dixie has you covered for your entire sure Easter does. feast. And then for dessert over there, I see a coconut cake. Oh, you have fantastic fresh cut strawberries that are glistening. Now, Get this recipe is going to be in Flavor Magazine. Oop, sorry. I'm going to grab it over here. <laughs> look, at me, look at me go for this. Just diving in. I love it. It's a feast. And then That's also, right. you can go to winndixie.com for more information or visit your neighborhood Winn-Dixie store. Let me give this a try. I'm diving straight into my coconut cake. The recipe's wow. in the Flavor Magazine so as well. Good.